So it's, it's officially fight week for you, man. Checking in. How you feeling right now? Ready to go. Ready to go. Can't wait for some donuts on Sunday. But I ain't looking. I ain't overlooking Moicano. Game. <laughs> Hanging in there. How you feeling, C? Feel good. Feel good. How you feeling, man? Feeling oh, fantastic. Give my, man, give my man with the glasses, though. Look at these glasses. <laughs> Should I look smarter? Oh, I love it, man. I've been waiting for this. I'm so happy it's finally here. Get to rumble. Four days. Kick off the card. Yeah. So you actually are headlining a fight that a lot of people are talking about, even though it's the first fight of the night. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Headline the UFC fight pass, even though I'm the first fight. <laughs> I'm itching. I'm itching right now. I'm waiting for something to pop off right now. But uh, yeah, no, I get the goosebumps. I constantly get reminded why I love this stuff, you know. And uh, but yeah, man, fight week is, is hype. You know, you constantly walk around with different fighters. You got all the promoters, and I mean not promoters, but all the the staff here. It feels like fight week, but you're just not fighting. So definitely sucks. But uh, I'm hype, man. Got my boy Cal, Calvin, Kyle, Joe's on the card. Big Mike. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a good show. Well, I never really, a lot of times locally, I didn't even know who the hell was on the car with me. It's kind of hard at the UFC level, obviously, it's big promotion, you kind of get an idea, but um, it's pure entertainment for me when they make the opponent change. It keeps my mind off the cut, off the bullshit, and, um, you know, yeah. before I know it, it's fight night, and I do what I've done all camp, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just the fight. If you feel up for it, we're going to have you do that physical, and that way when you get on that scale, that's, that's it. Mm. Do we have to check in by 10? Yes. Okay, so or at least nine to eleven weigh-ins, but check. Or at right least now. like like Kyle's got the, the little scale with him. Let's yeah. say you guys are at a gym. He's got weight. He's got two pounds to go. It's five to ten. Three. Oh, all around this area. Anything you can All that's the same as far as what you get, it's just different stuff. Yep. Slides, you got your shoes and hat and everything is in there, okay? Are you ready for war? It's not It's not ready. 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 I never noticed that before. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring any extra stuff. No, 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 I didn't bring it because I knew you guys get. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So every every six months we typically change it, so you're good for a while. All right, awesome. Um, try all that stuff on though when you get back to your room. Make sure everything fits okay. If you need to switch, switch it out, you know, whatever it does, something doesn't fit, you can go up or down. All right, we can cool. accommodate you. So. And headphones. If you warm up with headphones or walk out with headphones, they're over the year, just let us know, we can put a little piece of tape on whatever brand it is and we'll go from there. You got, dude, you gotta make it happen. They're the camps, dude. The shoes are pretty fresh, right? They are nice, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I'm back up. Just uh, back initial up. in these white boxes here, Calvin, right. and then sign Top for here, right? Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. I'm always so fucking focused on cutting weight and shit. I was like, I need to just get out of the hotel and fucking go watch some basketball. I'm like, let's meet you. Um, all right, so just gonna make sure name's correct. Yep. Wait. What you can pay? That's good. You're gonna initial. Basically, if you're if you're taking anything or you have any questions, just shoot them an email and. Um, there are go between between the commission who's out and all that. Mm -hmm. if, if there's anything that needs to be taken care of, those two are your people. How you doing? How you feeling? Good. How you Can you sign this again for me? Because you're doing good. Hey, buddy. So, how's it going? Good. How you doing? Right. What's good, boy? What's up, brother? What's good? Mm. Looking good. Whole squad's yeah, here. What's good, baby? Mm. Can you resign this? Yeah. I gotta resign it. <laughs> hey, 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 Because I messed up. I had to resign his medical oh. one. Uh, it's not what, a what was wrong the first time we signed it? No. <laughs> you signed his, he signed oh, his. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. That's just a scribble anyways. But this one doesn't. It's not like it was like the payment one. Yeah. Where you're getting 100,000 no, 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 and he's getting no, five. No, no, oh, I'm no. getting that? No, 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 no. It's an happy book. It's a good man, man. man. I'm going strawberry. Look at him, about to rough some shit. Let's get it on. We also have a deal with Crunch Fitness, which is about, it's probably like 10, 15 minutes away. We'll have shuttles going there at all of these times. What time does the, the jacuzzi gym area close? Here? here, it's like 10, 10.30. What I'm gonna do is ask that on Thursday, I'm gonna try to see if I can get them to stay open a little later. Yeah, cool. 
but this is an option. And also across the street, there's a New York Sports Club. They are, they're only open to 10, but yeah. it's just nice to have options if you don't want to be around people or you mm -hmm. do your own thing. So they're doing um, some filming there. They're going to service this piece out on you to all the Boston outlets. Okay, So they Great. cover you, yeah, awesome. get the local stuff. Uh, what else we got? Meeting with the broadcasters on Thursday, 3.15. That's with John Attic and Jimmy Smith. Yep. Just a couple of general questions about the fight, things like that. Friday's the weigh-in down here, 9 a.m., and then ceremonials at 6. Start a fight week, bro. Heck, yeah. In New York, pretty cool. Never been to New York. Fucking crazy-ass traffic, so... <laughs> it's funny, I was thinking about it because we had a bunch of people honking at us and they just like drove past us and looked at us in Albuquerque. Nah. Yeah, no, nah. you're, you're gonna fight someone in Albuquerque. What are you gonna do? Where's he going? For? He's too fucking respectful, man. I like him, but I can't like him till Saturday <laughs> night after we're done. He's too cool. He's a nice kid. Wow, you're the, help, you're the help right now. Yes, sir. You know, ain't anything for my man right now. Let me ask you one question, though. You got any uh, beef with any uh, cameraman? No. No no cameraman beef? No, no cameraman. Come on, man. Beef. You got to... This is the city that happens. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> What's the one? Yeah, 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 these are good, bro. These are good. Peach mango is good. I like the peach mango. I don't have the weight. The weight is better than our rocks. All right. You got the drink, though. I gotta get the, the Power Crunch sponsor right there. We got the Red Velvets on deck for Saturday night. If Rob don't eat them all before I, I get to him. Listen, man. Get my man, a, get my man some promo. I need a spot. Some Honestly, type of sponsorship. I don't want the sponsorship because I'll be fighting uh, welterweight. <laughs> He'll be fighting. Like Tyrone Willie for that one. Oh, save more? Oh. No, no, T. You don't know shit. No. What's up? What's up, Michelle? Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Hmm? Michelle. All good? Yeah, yeah. Knock, knock. I have a crew with me. Michelle, cameras on. I gotta take this from you. Hey, you know, let me get this for you, Michelle. I got it. Thank you. Gentlemen. Exactly. Cameras on. Everybody's here. Hello? Oh. Guys, this is Will. Hi, Will. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Uh, did you say yes or no to the, to the treat? We can have a treat, yeah. Where are you at, Calvin? Woohoo! Come to daddy. <laughs> Alright, Papa. That's nice. I've never had one. It is a, um, perfecting athlete's brownie. So it's cassava flour and coconut oil and almond butter and raw cacao. And uh, it's actually meant raw to, honey. raw honey. Uh, it's actually meant to help build their natural hormones and keep their energy stable. So it's a, it's an allowable treat. I'm freaking out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's coconut milk, coconut flakes, raw cacao, coconut oil, Raw honey and chia seeds. Got to the host hotel. They were eating, fighting athletes cooking for him. So um, it's good. It's a big good. weight off our chest not having to search for food all week. So we just come to the hotel room. They cook every meal. Make sure they cut weight the right way. And then they help us go through the weight cut at the end of the week. And then uh, rehydrate us after the weight cut. So I think I've been working with them for four plus years. Me and Rob started working with them. So it's their huge advantage to have on fight week because we don't have to go shopping, we don't have to run for food, we don't have to worry about what to eat, you know, going to restaurants and saying, oh, can you cook this with no seasonings or whatever, so it's been great having them. They're a huge asset on fight week. I make the bacon, and then, oh, no, 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 we cannot film the secret. No, 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 He's working his crow. I'm working my crow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work my crow? Do you do any of this stuff in here? <laughs> Namaste. Tomorrow? Yeah. I was gonna say that the first day. Okay. Egg in the whole sandwich. You know what? You want I love egg in the whole sandwich. Honestly, I can't, I, this type of hot stuff, I don't eat until like I know for sure I ain't gonna burn my thumb. Yeah, yeah you don't wanna ruin everything. And ruin it! Because I got donuts on Sunday I've been waiting 10 weeks for. Oh, baby. Matt <laughs> uh, Cap. Uh, yes. Can you want some money? Chives. Thank you guys. Yeah. 
try that first. Like, I'm like missing it, but not missing it. Like, I'm ready. I'm like, I want to fight already, but. You don't want to give up the eat? I don't really want to eat this cabbage right now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I wanted it, but I don't want to do it. Man. Uh, today they got some chicken soup. So it's um, organic chicken, carrots, onions, uh, variety of mushrooms like bella mushrooms and shiitake mushrooms, uh, chives, onions, cilantro, a little lemon, parsnips, and a lot of cabbage. <laughs> uh, basically, just boosts their immunity, um, keeps them feeling hydrated, makes them it's, you know good healthy comfort food on a cold day. And uh, it fucking <laughs> And it'll make you lose weight <laughs> without knowing that you're losing weight. My family, man, they all like try to stick around me with the weight cuts. But yep. afterwards, like, I'm staying the hell away from you. I gained way too much weight after Dude, the they, <laughs> yeah, they, they bulk like, up. You're the after worst. The, yeah. This guy, every time he just talks about food, like every time I see him, like before a fight, he's like, What about this food spot? What about I this food wait. spot? I'm I like, can't wait. Come on. Tyler is the best. <laughs> She worked on Shane, though. Except when, she works, <laughs> except when she works on your opponent. But we're working hey. on that. You know, every relationship that is... Every relationship. <laughs> we're on a 223. Right, yeah. right, right. We're building, we're building. Yeah. Speaking of, like, the pressure and, yep. like, the nervousness, can you feel tenseness in people when you work on them? Yeah, you definitely see how the week plays out on them as athletes. Like, their personalities change. Their body types change with cutting weight, like everything kind of changes. And you can see, and they'll tell you, some of them will be like, hey, yeah, actually I'm super nervous until I get hit in the face once and then it's like go time. Others will say, you know, I don't really have a lot of nerves and others do. It just, but everybody responds a little different and everybody kind of, as the week progresses, just changes depending on their personalities, I would say. Shortest amount of time. It had to be I've never a Cruz fight. I never had a short notice fight, but I've missed weight once against Cruz. I was, what did you say, we went, we went six fight, six, seven fight? Yeah. Six, Missed about a pound, point. eating Fuddruckers, like three <laughs> weeks out, like an asshole. I thought I was good too. And this is up at 45, so I was really messing up. <laughs> I remember I came home at lunch and you were on the Airdyne in my bathroom. Hurt, it almost like, wanted to How you doing? He's like, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> no, you were 149, he was 147. Yeah. And they tried to p find us more because we were more of a weight. I'm like, listen. So we, 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 both, so we both show up, right? We both show up to the weigh-ins. And I'm like, go ahead, you go first. He's like, he's like, no, nah, you go first. I'm like, no, nah, you weigh first. Like, once he weighs in, he's heavy. I'm like, yes. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm so sorry, man. And I'm like, no worries. No I'm, worries. Like, I'm, gonna miss <laughs> I'm about to miss weight too. So I jump on the scale, but I was a little heavier than him. Then they try to flip it. Like, wait a minute, hold up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's 49. I'm at 47. Oh, I'm 49. Uh, we need more money. I just like, 20 pounds for my debut. After eight days in Vegas. <laughs> he was in it. Yeah, we had a pretty. He had fun in Vegas. It's on that liquid back, diet in Vegas. He's like, all right, I get it back on track, and then we get the call for his UFC day. That Monday, it was and he did not want to do it. No. Like, he was like, I'm not ready. I haven't trained in a month. Dude, right. I mean, I can't lie about what happened in Vegas, man. I mean, I cannot talk about it, but I, <laughs> I know what happened. Eight days straight, man. It was rough. I mean, the longevity of athletes are way more these days. You see a lot older athletes. You see longer careers and healthier careers because they do recovery, because they do, you know, look at their body, how they can improve it, what aspects in their game can they improve. They look at everything, and I think that would change. I think eventually, like, it's funny, the young guys that are just getting into UFC, with the changes that are happening even right now, it'll be a totally different world in 10, 15 years. Yeah. Like, they'll be like, oh, I get this every day. Like, you said, you know, like you just said, yeah. this would be really nice to get every day. They'll get that every day. That's kind of where sports are going.